So I recently picked up this piece of thermally modified ash uh, from a local supply uh, to me in Minneapolis. Uh, it's from a uh, newly opened lumber dealer called Wood from the Hood. So I got this from them and I am going to uh, try to turn some of it into a few different things and see how it turns. So like I stated, I got this piece of thermally modified ash from Wood from the Hood located in Minneapolis. We're going to talk more about them later towards the end of the video and how you could also support their business. What I found when I started to turn is the thermally modified ash actually turned really, really smoothly and nicely. I have turned regular ash quite a bit before. I would say that this turned similar to the ash. It was uh, similar in hardness, maybe a little bit harder, but the biggest difference you notice is when I'm turning, you'll notice I'm not actually getting a lot of big shavings. All of the chips came off in, in very small pieces. I would say it's almost kind of a mix uh, between uh, very dry, heavier wood and stabilized wood, if you've ever turned that. It's not quite a powder, but small, small chunks as you're turning it. So it turns really smooth, very easy to carve into, uh, but not too soft. So it's very easy to shape, uh, extremely easy to sand to a very nice, smooth shape, curve, and feel. I really did not spend a lot of time sanding this. It sanded up very quickly, very nicely. Uh, but mostly I got a really smooth cut off of the tool. Here I am applying the first coat of Odie's oil on this tool handle. And one thing I noticed with the thermally modified ash is because it is so dry, there's no moisture in it, that it really soaked up quite a bit of Odie's oil in terms of typically you don't have to put a lot on and, and I use quite a bit more than you normally would for something of this size. Now as I'm getting the handle ready and fit for the tool, uh, you'll probably be wondering what kind of tool is this? This is uh, for the lathe. This is a bottom bowl uh, scraper if you want to think of it that way. So I've got two large bars there stacked and I have a small piece of uh, carbide cutting edge on the end that I'll use for the bottoms of larger pieces like bowls or platters. So it's intended to be a nice small simple smooth cut like you see here very thin cut giving me a very smooth even rounded cut surface on the bottom of a bowl very very light pressure here giving me an extremely smooth cut off of that tool reducing the amount of time I have to spend sanding because this handle is so big and so heavy because of that thermally modified ash it really held up nice felt good in my hand and has been doing a great job for what it's designated. Here I am turning another piece of the same uh, piece of thermally modified ash. I'm going to turn a small platter here. Now you might be wondering what exactly does it mean for a piece to be thermally modified. So thermally modified essentially just means that the wood uh, has been taken down to 0% moisture or extremely low percent moisture by a different drying process than a normal kiln. So what happens is, is they will heat the boards up and they'll do this to different species, different types. They'll heat it up to an extremely high temperature where wood would normally burn and the way that they get it to not start on fire is to remove all of the oxygen from 
the area where they're drying this. So in their kiln or oven, there are several different types of processes for thermally modifying boards. Uh, so you could look up those different types if you want, uh, but this is supposed to be a nice alternative for um, pieces of furniture or items that you might want to be outside or to last a long time, or maybe you don't want any moisture in it at all. So. Same thing here with this platter. It turned really smooth, really nice. It cut very easily. Didn't get a lot of big chips out of here. A lot of smaller chunks as it just kind of broke off. So yeah, you can see they're very thin. It was very strong, super easy to get this platter to be ultra thin. I didn't get a measurement on it, but it was very, very thin, thinner than you would feel comfortable with with a, a normal uh, piece of wood. So this just felt really strong. Here I'm applying more Odie's oil because I wanted the same similar look between the two pieces. And here's after one coat. And once again, it really soaked up a lot more than you typically would when you use this type of finish. And I would guess that that would be the same for any type. Overall, it was a real joy to work with. I'd be happy to work with it again. This piece turned out great. I gave this back to uh, those who work at Wood From The Hood. I really enjoyed turning this stuff. I'd highly recommend it to anybody looking for a new turn or something different. You can check out lumber availability and store hours for Wood From The Hood at their website. Right now we're currently in COVID-19 quarantine, so you would have to book an appointment for now. Hopefully as this ends, they'll be open regular hours again. Feel free to look them up, give them a call. They're a fantastic shop. I'd highly endorse uh, you checking them out if you're local to the air. Thanks for watching.